What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be explaining how you can get a brand new PlayStation 5 controller for $10 a year. Let's get right into this. So recently I did purchase a PlayStation 5, but I didn't realize at GameStop their warranties did change. Back with the PlayStation 4, if you got the extended warranty at GameStop, that would be for everything that was included in the bundle, not only the console, but also the controller. So if your PlayStation 4 controller did have problems, you would go back to GameStop and exchange it for a new controller, but that would eat up the entire warranty on the PlayStation 4 console. With the PlayStation 5, they made the warranties a lot better. You can get a console, you can get a warranty just for the console. They have a one year and a new two year warranty as well, which is awesome for us gamers. It gives us just another peace of mind. The one year warranty for the console is $80 and the two year warranty is 140. It is expensive, but for some people that is an awesome peace of mind that they did add that. They also have it separate now. Even if you buy a PlayStation 5 bundle, you can get a warranty for just the controller, and that is $10 for the warranty on this. Now, one thing that the GameStop employees did mention to me was that you are likely going to need to use that warranty in that first year. The reason for that is there's a lot of problems with the PlayStation 5 controller right now, especially first gen. A lot of problems with the analog sticks drifting and a few other problems as well. So it's recommended that you do purchase the warranty if you're getting a PlayStation 5 or you're purchasing a new controller to get the warranty for the controller, which again is $10. The other thing that they did mention to me is even if you do not have an issue with your controller, they recommend you come back at month 11 and you exchange your controller for a brand new one. You purchase a new warranty for that new controller, which is only $10. And by doing that, you're always going to have a fresh controller that is under warranty. So if that new controller ever has an issue, you'll take it back to GameStop and they will swap it out for a new controller for you because you have that warranty. Now, every time you go to GameStop with your controller to exchange it under warranty for a new one, you will have to purchase a new warranty for that new controller, which is another one year warranty, which is only $10. So in theory, you can always get a new controller for $10 a year by just going back to GameStop at month 11 and exchanging your controller for a new one and pay $10 for the new warranty on that new controller, which is highly recommended. It's just simply a new peace of mind Instead of you always stressing out if there's a problem with your controller or you think there might be one, you'll always have a fresh controller. And if there ever were to be an actual problem with your PS5 controller, it's simply always going to be under warranty. So you just take it back to GameStop and you'll get a new controller. I did this with the PlayStation 4 controllers back then. It was only $8 for the warranty, but again, I did that every year. Around month 11, I would go back and get a brand new controller because I'd have it under warranty. And they even told me that until there's a way for them to test the controllers in store, which they're likely never going to do, that you can always do this. I've been doing this since I first bought my PlayStation 4, and it's still something you can do with the PlayStation 5. But instead of $8 for the PlayStation 4 controller, it's $10 for a new, fresh PlayStation 5 controllers. And again, it is just an extra piece of mind that you might need eventually in the future. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and now you guys know how to get a fresh new controller for just $10 a year. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.